Today's adventure brings us to Simi Valley, just a little north of Los Angeles, going to head into the canyons, into the desertous regions, where there is more cactus, or is it cacti? Whatever the plural is. And history, then, you can shake a stick at. At the time of this photograph, by entering this gate is where some of the world's most famous people once acted. Notice the rock formation there off in the distance. It is now a residential area, and you cannot enter the park from this section. But I thought, what better way to start this off by showing you where the entry point once was. The area to put your vehicle now is just around the block. It's a public park. Corriganville, to be more exact, opened in the late 30s by Ray Crash Corrigan. A place to film TV and movies. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. When it came to westerns, this land was a mecca for a few decades. That genre was so popular, in fact, it eventually became a theme park where employees dressed up as cowboys. There were gunfights, bank robberies, and the assortment. Think early days, Knott's Berry Farm, Disneyland, Frontierland. That sort of crowd base showed up here. My goal today is to just wander around, match up some screenshots from those productions, and just show you what used to be here before it went away. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Over the years, fire has destroyed most of the structures, but luckily there are foundations and the formation of rocks still in existence to give us some clues. Quite a bit of concrete left on the ground. You can certainly see why they chose this location. The backdrop and scenic views are incredible using this old guide map to find my way around and to give a general layout of the land a bird's eye, show how expansive this place was. Standing at the moment right about there in this clump of buildings called Silvertown. Looking this direction over that tree stump and the recreation district has placed these little information placards. 1964 is when this was taken. Pat Buttram, Bill Willingham, and the ranch owner, Ray Corrigan, shown here in a little reenactment of a fistfight. An episode of Have Gun, Will Travel, a showdown took place in front of the saloon. Notice the boulders at the top of the hill and that tree to the left. The tree has fallen over. The one that's still standing was behind the building, cannot be seen in the show. Those boulders are still up top, and the concrete still remains there from the saloon. The Valley Oak can live to be hundreds of years old. This one, documented in cinema, has served its time and fallen. Roots completely exposed. Boot Hill Cemetery, created just for entertainment purposes. Headstones, long removed. If there really were bodies here, they would be pushing up daisies. Wait, are those daisies or are those petunias? By paying attention to the landscape, I figured out that it was right back here behind where the saloon was once located. The reverse of that fallen tree. From up on this embankment, you really can tell that it was a whole town set. Barbershop, stores, even a hotel. Everything to make up the Old West. Plenty of little details left out here to let us know of its history and that it existed. Some parts raised, this for example, and then some different coloration here on the floor. Hundreds if not thousands of episodes from that era all made right in this very spot. Pretty amazing to think about. So many, in fact, that naming them all off would be very tedious. So instead of doing so, I'm just going to show some of the ones that I find very fascinating. For example, right over there was a dance hall. Quite a bit grown over since this was taken, but the tree on the very far left still stands. Plenty of foliage there springing up from the base. 
kind of blocking the mountain range in the background as well. It's a train going by. Certainly adds to the ambiance. Even though wood can be burned up very easily in a fire, some other parts are a little more difficult. And that's why we still have these little sections and partitions from the old barn and stables. This cowboy's raring to go. He's about to get in a little bit of a fist fight. Notice those pillars in the background from the barn. Some more information on site. However, this technical angle is a little bit further towards the base of the barn on that end, looking that direction. The cameraman would have been standing over by the hotel slash dance hall located at the very end of this rock work. But the hill in the background, one in the same. Which means going off that info, this would have been the bank right here. Out the front door to the main street of Silvertown. Some little mementos down here. Almost like petrified wood. Hello there. They call this the Gorilla Rock. From this angle, I can definitely see. You see the resemblance there to a gorilla? I certainly do. And sometimes, sometimes the things um, like that, uh, like Eagle Rock, have you been over to Eagle Rock? No. Sometimes well, the sun is going down and you, you've passed it a million times and you think, okay, oh there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that looks like a gorilla. It does. From certain angles it doesn't look like, but from here it definitely looks like. Gorilla Rock. Well, actually, we got it looking like a gorilla. Old Prairie Church Foundation over here. This is where the probably schoolhouse was in there as well. Do you remember the days when everybody in the class was in basically every grade was in one one building? Do you really think I'm that old? <laughs> I remember those times. You remember? Yeah, I remember those times. After chores, we'd all have chores. And old man Corriganville had come by and he'd go, yeah, his name was Corrigan. I think it was Corrigan. No, no, it was Corriganville, his name. But they decided that naming the town Corriganville-ville would be redundant. So they just called it Corriganville. It makes sense. After old man Corriganville. I wonder if he uh, took some lessons with the McGuffey readers right in here. Maybe. Wonder if back in the day they ever robbed that train. Gotta have a hard time. Did you ever see that scene in um, Bronco Billy? No. You have you seen Bronco? Billy? I never have. Oh my god! I never have. Oh. I'm sorry. No, it's great. It's a great Clint Eastwood movie. It's a fantastic movie. But he, Scatman Crothers, and this ragtag band of entertainers, of Western entertainers, get together, they're totally out of money, and decide to literally rob a train. So they get their equipment and all, and Clint Eastwood, they put on their masks, you know, their, uh, their, their, their bandanas, you know. You brought the bandana? I, you I came brought, prepared. I came prepared. It's, it's a million degrees. <laughs> That's fair so enough. They, um, so they put on the bandanas, you know, the, the Western, they're, they're ready for the train. Well, the train is an Amtrak. The train's coming, womp, womp, and it's coming 100 miles an hour, and they finally they just get out of the way of the train, and the train just keeps going. Very funny scene. Bronco Billy. I'm gonna watch it. Clint Eastwood, great movie. I'm gonna take your recommendation. They not only designate what was filmed out here, but they also tell you some of the landscape and what they are. These are sandstone rocks. That's what those formations are way up there. Uh, there was so much rain over the winter that that cactus, which is low to the ground, has shot that flower. I mean, who, look at how tall that is. That must be 10 or 12 feet high, that cactus flower. Yeah, from here it only looks like it's like a couple feet, but you're probably mm -hmm. right. It's way up there. There's a real beehive of activity happening in there for real. It's like a thousand bees. That's a lot of bees. I'm gonna keep walking. You uh, take, get closer. 
Can we get closer? Uh, no, 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 do not get closer. If that's not dangerous enough, there's like a little bit of a cliff here that you could take a tumble down. This is Trailblazer Cave. Um, they used concrete and some wood. They, they, they built it up and used it in many, many, many uh, movies, uh, including movies with Bob Steele, Hoot Gibson, Ken Maynard. Uh, the, the, this cave was, uh, uh, was used in, uh, in the movie Arizona Whirlwind, Billy the Kid vs. Dracula, The Range Busters, The Fugitive with David Jansen, in the episode 10,000 Pieces of Silver, uh, Nagoka and the Tiger Men. I wish I'd been in that. And the movie... It's a vampire up there. Dracula. Adam. Comes Billy from the, the cave. Billy the Kid was up there. He needs to be to fight Dracula. He's got sharp fangs. Here's another episode from I'm a not different gonna serial. I'm coming down from the cave because I'm not going to kill myself. Oh, you coming down now? I'm going to come down. Be careful. It's very, very tricky. Getting your footing. The staircase can be treacherous. Name that movie. Young Frankenstein. Oh, he's too good. One other note: When Dracula was killed, what would have been supposedly right in this area. Bullets could not stop him, but after they ran out of ammunition, threw the gun at his head, and it knocked him out right here, and a stake was driven through his heart. All right, oh. wait, what are you doing? I thought, I thought you were Dracula. You thought, no. <laughs> Just a few feet away down the path, here's another kind of very noticeable, noticeable, cannot talk. Just a few feet away down the path is a very noticeable, gosh, I cannot talk. What's wrong with me? I don't know. You <laughs> Just push your dentures in. All right, let me try it again. Just a few feet away down the path. Noticeable. A noticeable form formulation. I can't talk. Just a few feet away, just down the path, is another very noticeable. So I nailed it that time. You did great. Noticeable. noticeable. It's really a word. A very noticeable formulation. Is that another word? Formulation? I formulation. Yeah. See the tree on the left and that rock on the right? Very recent fires that came through here about a year ago. Kind of destroyed the tree, but you can still see it there. Right there, they shot quite a bit right in that little corridor. Robin Hood Lake is what this is referred to as. And right here on your left is a rock that was built for Johnny Weissmuller to jump off of. Is it Weissmuller or Weissmuller? Weiss, Weissmuller. Uh, I checked with the family before coming on this hike with you. Because you wanted to make sure you uh, had his, everything? Yeah, his widow, old lady Weissmuller. Uh, hello! And she has one of those phones. That's like, you hey, called her? I called her. Because I got, I'm connected. I got people's right. numbers and stuff. And you I, said, how do you pronounce your last yeah, name? Yes, dear. It's Tom. Tom Wilson. She said, who? So I sent her to IMDB. She didn't have a phone. I, <laughs> it, it, was, it was long. It, was, it took a long time. But finally, Weissmuller or Weissmuller? Weissmuller. So that's the Weissmuller rock. Which is a fake the rock. It's weird. They pronounce the rock Weissmuller. Oh, the Weissmuller so rock. Weissmuller, who used to jump off Weissmuller rock. Wow. And he was very talented because if I jumped off that head first, it would not end well. But he was a professional diver. He was a professional swimmer. So he knew how to correctly dive off. Yeah. And then to like contort his body upward so he wouldn't get injured. True. And this true. was seen in multiple movies, television shows, commercials, for all we know. When he got older, they filled it with those play balls. Oh. And he just jumped into the balls. And then they couldn't get him out. I think you're making some of this stuff He's up. He's like, yay, I'm Tarzan in the play balls. And Johnny, <laughs> enough. Enough. Why Smuller, why Smuller, get out of the balls. But you put them here, you know, so. It was. It took a long time. I think the heat might be getting to you. It took a long time. I think so. <laughs> Here's an example. There, you see the diving taking place. This was actually during an Annie Oakley episode. You can see they use it in lots of other things as well, not just Weiss Mueller, mice, Weiss mice. He was Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim. Tarzan was first. Yeah, Adam. Why don't you get your Hollywood facts I, right? I corrected you in your video. No, no, you didn't. I did I, it. It'll never show up. You're gonna edit it out? Yes, absolutely. When I'm wrong, edit it out. Okay. As far as you know, I will. The real life Jungle Jim. It's pretty high up here. I don't know if I put a knife off this. Probably 20 feet up. The construction of this thing, you see it's pretty stable, but there is wood wedged in there.
whatever you do, don't look down. I'm gonna walk over there and show those little underground spots as well, well underwater, I should say. I watched an episode where he was right here in front of where they had the camera pointing out and he stabbed a crocodile. A, right cro in here? a crocodile oh, was, a water. was attacking him and they were filming under the water. He pulled out like a buoy knife and like slid it right down the, the belly. Right there. If I was daring, I could probably climb down in there, but I don't know if I would get out. So you could just jump down, but getting back out, there is no stairway. I'll help you out. You would help me out if I fell down in there? If you fell down in there? Well, yeah, we, we could recreate the me fighting the crocodile. Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim! Walking amongst where the water would have been. Peeking out of here, be a camera. This is where the operator would have been stationed right there, some graffiti. Pointing straight out. This would be completely submerged. Singing cowboys were all the rage back then. Here's one perched under the branches of this very tree. You can tell by the way it just kind of forks off there to the left and then his horse was tied up to the one on the far right. Next to Robin Hood Lake. And yet another perch basically where this bench now resides. And if you just focus upward, there's that rock. And in that photograph I just show, water was pouring off the top of it. So no diving was taking place, but a beautiful waterfall was in that spot. See it just pouring down there? This is from in the later years when it became a theme park. You could rent boats and just paddle to your heart's content through here. Lots changed since those days. Just see how expansive the little river area was. All dried up. Robin Hood Forest and Pool, and this bridge right here designated the Susanna Pass version has been removed. You can see it was right down there. But you can no longer walk or ride a horse over it, but the basically the little pillars still remain. Once again, you can really see why they chose different spots with that little mountain range behind it. It makes for a good, good angle. I keep waiting for a horse and buggy or a stagecoach to ride through here. Any minute now. So right there, the horse comes through, right? You see it? Yep. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Oh, he's going very fast because it's lunchtime. I think you're getting dehydrated. Uh, There's nothing there. You're seeing I a saw, mirage. I saw the horses. Where? You see the freeway off in the distance and just how much terrain we have traversed. Quite the hike. But I do believe we have made it to the area of Fort Apache. To be more precise, the fort was right down in this little ravine. Henry Fonda, John Wayne. We're all right in here. In fact, there's a screenshot of the two of them right there. They would have been basically on their horses. And then the backdrop are those rocks directly behind them. Pretty cool. Didn't even realize it, but we've gone full circle and we're back to the old west town. Silvertown, they called it. Back to the foundations. We made a complete circle. Heading out now, gonna grab a bite to eat at another landmark in this neck of the woods. The Munchbox. I've heard quite a few good things about this place. And just now getting around to trying it. These are the options. What do you usually get? What's your go-to? Cheeseburger, man. Go with the I'll cheeseburger? Have a cheeseburger. Oops. Whoa, whoa, it's... Hey, man. So the go-to is the, the cheeseburger. I guess. You can have yeah, a hot dog. Man. They have a mushroom yeah, burger. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, mushroom yeah. dressing? Oh, how's it going? What do you suggest? The hickory, the hickory smoke. The hickory smoke. That's, That's your suggestion? Right, is that your suggestion? All right. The hickory smoke, they're saying. Okay. I'm going to get the hickory then. smoke. I'm having hickory smoke. Do you want cheese? Yes, I want cheese, please. Hickory burger, 
this is what we're dealing with. Well, it, it's upside down though, so okay. I should really give them the print. Hickory burger, fries, root beer. All good, man. You got all all good. I, I haven't even opened mine up yet. Mine's like still tucked away down here in the bag. But I got exactly the same thing. As I remove this, I'm noticing the cook has has labeled it accordingly. What about the woo? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. There's a little asterisk here. I got no markings on mine. You got no markings? None none whatsoever. It doesn't say Tom on no, there? No, it doesn't say Tom on there. They might have a Sharpie. You want me to go no, get the too Sharpie? too late now. It's too late. The too damage late. is done. The woo. You want mine? No, I don't you want to You want to trade? They're exactly the same. I'll have both. <laughs> you both? What am I going to eat? We've had a full day. I think we should call it. I had a full belly. My legs are sore from hiking. Did you realize I was going to have you walk that far? No, not at all. I need to hydrate. About seven or eight miles. It was a long hike, a good hike. And the Munch Box. Cheeseburgers, fantastic. And I noticed you were doing a little bit of filming. You have like a YouTube channel. Uh, Tom Wilson USA. They, they can watch Wait. me on your channel. Yeah, and, and watch you on my channel. And vice versa. Channel. All right. So how, how are we going to end this? So I just said I do my typical I vlog. I really don't.